Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily and Lego recently sent me part of the new wave of the Friends sets coming out in summer 2022. I was not planning on initially doing a bunch of reviews on these just because reviews aren't really our thing on the channel. Like I much prefer doing live streams or city updates, but I really felt like I was doing myself a disservice as well as y'all a disservice if I didn't open this up and talk about it. This set is just absolutely incredible and I can see this having like a lot of different purposes from a Muppets theater. I know there's Muppets fans out there. I see a lot of different modifications coming very soon to make this more modular compatible, but also the set itself is just so cool and I love the concept behind it. Alright, so now before we get into the review, if you are new to my channel, then hello and welcome. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, I really appreciate it. Alright, so now for the set information, this is set number 41714, Andrea's Theatre School. It has 1,154 pieces and it's for ages 8 and up. Now the set will be coming out on May 29th for 100 US dollars. There's also four mini dolls included in this, we get Freya, Ollie, Professor Adrian, and Andrea. I love that Andrea has the gold glitter around her to show that it is her theater school. I love that. And initially when I saw the set, I was a little bit confused, right? Because it's like a theater, but then we see this like really pretty front of what looks like a modular building over there. And I was like, wait, is that the front? Is that the back? Like, I was just very confused as to like what this set actually looks like. And then when we turn it around to the back, you see a lot of different scenes of like what can be done with this set. So it is really nice for like using your creativity. Obviously, I don't really play with Lego sets as much as like maybe children would, but it is really nice seeing like all the different things that you can do and like ideas for how to play with this. So now let's get this out of the way and bring out the Lego set. Eek. Okay, so my first impressions about this set is that obviously the front is stunning. Like the texture differences, the colors, it's perfect. I really wouldn't change anything. And I'm almost getting Palace Cinema vibes from this, just with all the different shows and the windows, like the advertisement for different theater events coming soon. Like even the red carpet out front, it's just perfect. Like I, I love it. I hope that Friends keeps making sets like this that are just very detailed, almost perfect for like adults and children. You know, there's a lot of playability in this but it's also stunning. But that being said, one of my first questions about this, like after I saw the box art, I hadn't built it yet. I was like, well, what does the back look like? I mean, it's really difficult to put buildings into a Lego city without a proper backing, especially if things are like sticking out weird, if it's not finished. So let's check that out. That's, that's not as great. Obviously it's meant to function. There's all these different scenes in here. So these plates, actually they're different scenes. This one's like the city at night with the lights shining through the windows. It's really cute. I love this concept of setting up different scenes so that then if you do actually play with the set and put on different theater performances, you can switch it up. So obviously there's this night one, there's this yellow castle. Maybe this is a hint of what's to come soon with Lego for the 90th year. I don't know. I actually really don't know. And then once these are removed, you can see in a little bit better with the curtains. They do open, but I'll show you that in a second. So it's really, it feels kind of unfinished in the back, but again, it does serve its purpose for playability and setting up different scenes for the theater. And just so you can get a better sense of what we're looking at here, they just literally plop right in here. So there's these little bars on either side and you just kind of set them in. Like they're not attached to anything, like they're very loose. Um, just to make it easier, I guess. Um, they don't fall out at all, but just so you kind of know what the situation is on the back. And I was never in theater in high school, in college. I was in theater like in third grade, but just because I had to. So I don't know exactly what goes on behind the scenes in a theater production, but this is what I would imagine. You know, all the different costumes. We have a hat, a tiger costume, some pink hair, a knight's helmet. <laughs> There's a bathroom. I find it kind of weird that every front set has a bathroom, but I mean, it's practical, so. There we go. There's like a janitor's closet type thing on the other side with a bright pink trash can, very important. Some more costumes and props as well as a getting ready station. When we turn it to the side, we do have these two doors. A door opens to the bathroom in there. And then on the other side, the door opens to the janitor's closet. I feel like these doors on either side aren't necessary, but I mean, it adds to it. It's more detail, so I'm always happy with that. All right, so I feel like now it's finally time to check out the actual theater inside. I know you're all like, well, duh, this is a theater, right? Like. Yeah, I don't know why it took this long. So you need to see how this opens up. This is so cool. I am blown away by this. And again, like I was so confused at first seeing the box art, but like it literally just opens up at the front to reveal this beautiful theater. Do y'all see this? This is so good. It's so creative. So like any dramatic theater, right? You have the big red curtains that you can open with these two different notches on the side. You just kind of slide them. It's like a Technic gear kind of thing and you can open them. You can close them back up. So it's really like, you don't have to like manually do that. Like having these gears here really add to the effect of like, this is a real theater. Like you could put on different performances if you wanted to. Now is also probably a good time to demonstrate how the different scenes can be changed. So like, you don't really see much from the back. Like it really does hide it, which is, you know, obviously the effect you want. You want it to look like a performance. So you can take these out pretty easily. 
you know, now the whole backing is open. You can kind of see that wiggling there. And then you can switch it with the night scene. So, I mean, that's really easy. It really adds to the whole theater effect. So very cool. And I think I'll leave that there actually, just because I do like the night one better. And so now obviously looking at the inside, right? We have these two banisters. So you can set two mini dolls in each or mini figures, just saying Muppets, y'all. It would be perfect in here. The two old guys, Kermit and Miss Piggy. It's just, it's right there. It's obvious. Anyways, we see a lot of really nice like gold ornamentation kind of stuff going on like along the top there, the gold flowers on either side, the hearts. So it's a really nice like elegant style theater. And then along the front for the chairs there, the spacing does feel a little bit weird to me. There are five chairs in total. There are no studs on the seat because these are mini dolls. Like the legs for these just don't allow for them to be stuck down, but you can replace them of course with different jumper tiles or something if you do want to place minifigures. But it just seems very cramped and very close to the stage, which is kind of weird. It's also the only way to get everything to like fit inside. So I think it's fine. I haven't really tried fitting the mini dolls in the chairs yet, but let's do that. They fit perfectly. I mean, it's really not that big of an issue. The spacing for the chairs just seems a little weird to me. So yeah, now that we've seen a little bit more about what's going on inside, let me just spin this around in 360 for you guys just so you can get a better feel of what it all looks like when it is open from the back as well as the front. My plans for this set are to add it to the LEGO City, so I don't know how that's gonna work exactly. Um, I'll have to either like leave it open or close. I'm not sure yet how that's gonna work, but stay tuned for a video about that at some point. Anyways, I guess let's take a look at the mini dolls. Here we have Ollie. Ollie looks very dramatic. He has his hair slicked back. He has this green top with the brownish red looking vest with the gold details and dual molded legs. He's got a ponytail in the back with more gold details, as well as that gold scallop pattern reaching around to the back. His accessory is what I believe to be a playbill or maybe a script. Next up here we have Freya, and I love her space buns going on with the braids on either side. The friends hair pieces are just next level. I love these so much. They just look really good. So it's exciting to see more and more different hairstyles being represented in friends. You'll also see a star printing on either side of her face and then looking at her dress she has this really cute teal dress with a pink belt and green shirt underneath. She's also wearing what I believe to be socks and sandals, so interesting style choice. For her accessories, she has the walkie-talkie, so I assume she's like one of the leaders, maybe like running the production of the show. And then third, we have Adrian. This face printing actually looks a lot like Ross. If my husband was a mini doll, this is what he'd look like. So I'm gonna go show him this right after I finish filming. For his outfit, he has a jean jacket with the yellow and white stripes underneath, but then on the back, this is where I just love it. He has all these different patches. I believe that's a cat, a diamond, candy corn? There's just all sorts of different things on there. I assume most of it's like theater related, but not all of it. I don't know where the cat comes into play. And then for the accessory, he has this red microphone because he's the professor. He's kind of running the show. And then finally we have Andrea. I love her outfit here. This is Andrea's theater school, so of course she's gonna look fantastic. Her hair is in this really beautiful curly brown bun, and then her dress is coral with a lot of really nice silver details. For her accessory, it looks like she's maybe FaceTiming someone. I'm not exactly sure what that is. And then she also has some gold binoculars. Oculars. All right, so I'm pretty sure y'all know my opinions on the set already, but I'm just gonna say it again. I love this set. I think it's fantastic. It is beautiful. The front of it's gorgeous. And then the theater aspect of it also has a lot of really great potential Muppets, as well as maybe even like including this in a Lego city. We'll have to see how that'll work. Again, like with the doors swinging open, it might be a little bit of a challenge, but I'll do my best. That being said, y'all, I would love to hear your feedback and thoughts about this set as well. Are you planning on picking this one up? Do you have any ideas of what to do with it in a Lego city? Please let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. Also, while you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. So thank you so much. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Land and Lego for sending this set for review. I really appreciate that. And I will see you next time.